Hi and welcome. This video is designed to help you fill in Section C of your 2017 Annual Information Statement. Section C, Human Resources, is about the people who work or volunteer for your charity and it consists of one question broken up into two parts. Your annual report, organisational chart or pay-as-you-go payment summary might help you answer these questions, so we recommend having it at hand for easy reference. For question 14a, you will need to record how many full-time, part-time and casual paid employees worked at your organisation during the last pay period of your financial year. For question 14b, enter the number of volunteers who worked for your charity during the last pay period of the financial year. Volunteers can include unpaid board and committee members. Now, you don't have to get this figure 100% correct. We will accept your best estimate based on your knowledge and documentation. The second part of question 14b asks you how many full-time equivalent staff, that's FTE staff, worked for your charity during the last pay period of the 2017 reporting period. This is the number of full-time employees that your charity would have if it combined the hours of full-time, part-time and casual employees. Now, we've got some great support material here to help you answer this question. The first comes via our Annual Information Statement Guide. That's at www.acnc.gov.au forward slash 2017 AIS Guide. Referring to the Human Resources section of the guide will provide you with a very detailed rundown and explanation of what full-time equivalent staff means and how you can calculate your figure. The guide also provides an example of a fictitious charity calculating its FTE staff. In addition, the ACNC has developed a great little FTE calculator tool which can help you add up your full-time equivalent staff figure. Just enter the total number of paid employee hours across your organisation and divide by the length in hours of your average work week, for example, 35 hours. And of course, you can also calculate this figure using data from your payroll system or pay-as-you-go forms. Links to the FTE calculator are available via the Annual Information Statement Guide, in the Annual Information Statement form itself, and also by clicking on the purple Help link next to the FTE question in the Annual Information Statement form. And this brings us to the end of Section C of the Annual Information Statement. Before you move on to the next page, we recommend that you click the Save button. To move on to Section D, Finances, click the Next Page button here. For more on this section of the 2017 Annual Information Statement, refer to the guide and other resources at the Annual Information Statement Hub. For assistance with other parts of the Annual Information Statement, you can also view the other videos in this series. And, as always, if you have any questions or need any specific assistance with the Annual Information Statement, you can call us on 132262 or email us at advice at acnc.gov.au. I hope this has been useful and thanks for watching.